All right, guys, the overall market is slightly, slightly red on the day, kind of trading a little bit sideways after we got a very healthy retracement. Once we broke out of this wedge, came back down, and finally we are basing off of this before potentially another rip on the S&P 500. What is going on, guys? Lottery Sucks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, stay till the end of the video so you don't have to watch another update video here on YouTube. We will update you on everything that there is to update you on. Overall, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so AMC is currently sitting up 4.36% on the day, and it's looking good. This is basically the same thing that happened back in January and June. However, it's being dragged out a little bit. AMC is still ping-ponging back and forth between this parallel channel. And basically what happened back in January and in June was you saw the same ping-pong pattern, except it broke out a little bit sooner than it actually is. We're getting a ping-pong back and forth, back and forth, just awaiting that breakout. Essentially, I would like to see volume start to pick up a little bit, and I am still watching that $9 level. Overall, AMC is looking solid going forward. Touching on some AMC Ortex numbers, 22.83% short interest utilization is still maxed out at 100% and the cost to borrow actually changed on Ortex saying the average is at 353 and the max is right around 400% so the average is the most important thing to pay attention to it still means shorts are paying over three times their position just to borrow shares and as for eight the short interest actually increased now sitting at a flat 7% and utilization is coming up to right around 90% with the cost to borrow averages staying around the same at 8% however for AMC unusual Wales tweeted that the borrow rate is at an all-time high reported at 412% which is a little bit different from Ortex. Also Webull reported it in the 400% as well and we know that from last week it came down from 1k for the max cost to borrow. According to Stonko Tracker there's zero shares available to borrow at a most recent fee of 385% and calls compared to puts are looking extremely well. 72,000 calls expiring in the money compared to 9,000 puts. If AMC does keep scaling up we are going to win on the options chain and really cause pain for market makers and potentially cause a gamma ramp going forward the short exempt volumes are stacked up pretty heavily 637,000, and the short percentage sitting at 54.3 as for gamestop 1 million shares available to borrow not really looking good for gamestop the cost to borrow is dropping at 18.1 percent 9,000 calls compared to 1,000 puts expiring in the money however which is a good thing to see and gamestop's chart is looking well popping over to gamestop's chart real quick before we get into some more numbers in dd this is the same exact pattern GameStop had back in January before it ran up to $500. This is where you saw that pattern play out, which is exactly the same spot AMC's at right before that breakout. However, the algorithm is being prolonged just like it did from January to June. June was a little bit longer and now June to now. Now, now this cycle is a little bit longer. For Bed Bath & Beyond, this stock just will not go down, right? This stock had another rip today. Zero shares available to borrow at a most recent fee of 220%. 12,000 calls compared to 9,000 puts expiring in the money this company has horrible horrible fundamentals behind it but this short squeeze play will not die the on balance volume has accumulated forever they're not going into the floor 322,000 for short exempt volume and essentially i still hold my bed bath and beyond calls but they expire february 17th i will let you know what i end up doing with those now today amc dropped a press release amc theaters presents sightline at amc the next evolution of value pricing at the movies with multiple operations to meet the viewing preferences of amc moviegoers including a lower ticket price for select seats. Sightline at AMC provides moviegoers with seating selections based on their sightline of the movie screen with the auditorium including seats, in-value sightline, standard sightline, and preferred sightline sections. Standard sightline seats are the most common in auditoriums and are available for the traditional cost of a ticket. Value sightline seats are primarily in the front row of the auditorium and are available at lower price than standard sightline seats. And preferred sightline seats are typically in the middle of the auditorium and cost slightly more than standard sightline seats as an added benefit to AMC's most loyal moviegoers, A-list members will have preferred Sightline Premium waived for all reservations. Sightline at AMC is applied to all show times that begin after 4 p.m. at participating locations and is now available on Discount Tuesday at AMC. Sightline at AMC has launched in select markets and is expected to continue expanding to AMC and AMC dine-in locations by the end of 2023. Boom, another fundamental thing that is good for the company. AMC is going to be charging for better seats in the movie theaters and charging less for worse seats in the movie theaters and average for the most purchased seats in movie theaters. This is a good thing because if there's a slight upcharge for someone to get a better seat, people are definitely going to buy 
buy that seat which is going to bring in more revenue and chances are people are not going to pay less to sit in a worse spot if they really want to go to the movies to see that movie they are going to pay what they want to pay for that seat that they want to sit in buy button is next for amc this is ridiculous that robin hood won't let me have more funny in the past it's never been an issue somebody tried to buy more amc call contracts and they got an error from robin hood this order could put you over the maximum allowed amc position you can only have 500 total contracts of amc at any time what do you guys think about this have you got this message yourself trying to purchase amc calls on robin hood according to goldman sachs hedge funds are caught in bigger squeeze than 2021 meme stock frenzy hedge funds betting against stocks globally abandoned those trades last week at the fastest pace since 2015 surpassing the speed of their exodus from the meme stock frenzy two years ago according to goldman sachs research note the latest short squeeze implying that stock prices rose so much that bearish bets become too expensive to hold saw hedge funds caught out by a sharp rally in equities on february 2nd after u.s federal reserve slowed the pace of interest rate hikes and market anticipated that rates would peak soon Boom. so goldman sachs basically said hedge funds got caught with their pants down but their pants were even lower this time because they were short a ton of positions and the federal reserve said boom we're raising rates by this much market rallied and finally these bears got squeezed out of their position which is why you saw and are still seeing small cap slash short squeeze plays continuing to rally in my opinion this is just saying yo they got squoze that's that you know kind of hinting to get out of positions but in my opinion shorts did not get out of certain stocks just because you saw a little bit of a rally finally more layoffs are coming as dell is firing over 6500 employees and more than 50 percent of all six figure earners so 100k or more have said they are living paycheck to paycheck which is at an all-time high and 64 percent of americans in general are living paycheck to paycheck are you guys living paycheck to paycheck and is it getting hard for you did you have to sell your equities just to survive just to help your family just to pay off your house you let me know in the comments down below also the u.s money supply treasury curve and leading economic index are all signs that a hard landing will occur in 2023 according to bank of america and bank of america ceo also says they are preparing for a possible united states default this is the second largest bank in the united states in case you guys didn't know finally more war south korea says a north korean balloon is flying over its territory hundreds of people are dead after a massive earthquake in turkey and syria so guys please pray for the residents of turkey and syria for this earthquake because it is still going on and there's actually over 2,000 deaths that are actually confirmed so please pray for these people and their families going forward overall hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to pop in the discord down below so you don't miss a stock opportunity also use my link in the comments or in the description to download Moomo on your phone or computer and once you make a deposit you will get 15 free stocks for doing absolutely nothing plus your money's fdic insured you get access to free level 2 order book data trading options going long going short customizable earnings calendar and more so there's no reason not to do so overall guys i will be updating you on everything that there is to update you on as for amc i'm still very excited nothing has changed we need volume to kick in you know it's very annoying seeing the cycle being prolonged like this saying you know these youtubers said it was going to rip now they said it was going to rip now they said it was going to rip now the point is we're all going to hold anyway until it actually does go to the moon but it really doesn't matter we are just updating you on whatever it is that there is to update you on overall guys thank you for all the support on the channel i love you all lot of you stocks out